how to do a moonwalk. Showing moonwalk of Michael Jackson. Hello and welcome to VNG Tech Labs. Uh, and in this video, we are going to uh, see the making of AI assistance auto robot. So in this video, we are going to see how to convert our uh, auto robot into AI assisted robot. So AI stands for artificial intelligence. Uh, artificial intelligence is the field of uh, study in computer science uh, using which we are going to make the machines to think in an intelligent way. So uh, the hardware requirements for our uh, project is the auto builder kit that is uh, already available in Amazon and then you need to have a PC or a laptop for programming the AI part. Now uh, I'm not going to cover the assembly section that is how to connect the different parts of the auto robot but uh, I'm going to uh, tell you uh, the required uh, connections like uh, we are going to see how uh, the servo motors are connected to the uh, auto robot. So uh, when you open the auto robot you will be able to see an Arduino Nano board that is connected to a, an expansion board. So uh, these connections, the, the four servo motor connections points to the connection uh, that which goes to the Arduino Nano expansion board. So here uh, for the two legs each leg has a pair of servo motors so uh, let's consider it as a right leg and left leg so two servo motors for the right leg and two servo motors for the left leg see that you connected the pins of uh, the servo motors corresponding servo motors to the uh, pin numbers of uh, Arduino Nano board 2, 2, 3, 4 and 5 correctly only then our program will work properly Next, after that, we need some uh, software requirements uh, to need to be installed in our computer. First one is the Arduino IDE, that is to program the Arduino uh, Nano uh, for our uh, auto robot. Next, the Python. So here, uh, we need uh, Python uh, because the computer is going to uh, do the AI part. That is, uh, I'll tell you, I'll just cover what all the uh, things that are covered in the AI part later. Next, we need to have a Visual Studio code. It's a platform on which you can do the Python code as well as it will be easier for you to debug. So in the AI part, uh, we are going to cover the speech recognition. That is converting our uh, human speech into an uh, uh, understanding way to our computer. So the computer will be able to recognize our speech using this speech recognition library and then Pi serial port. So uh, here is the trick. We are going to uh, convert this uh, commands from the speech recognition uh, to be understood by the auto robot using the Pi serial port. So uh, using the serial port, we will be sending the commands to the auto robot. It's like what to do, like to move forward or move backward. Uh, let's see that later and then we need to have a Pi Audio also to be installed uh, where uh, the computer uses Pi Audio to play the audio or to record the audio. Next, we need to have Pi Text 3 to be installed. So all, all these, this Pi Text 3, uh, coming back to this Pi Text 3, we need this because uh, it's the text to speech library using which the computer will be able to convert the text to speech and it will be played as an audio so that we will be able to hear what the computer has understood. Right. So uh, all these uh, commands should be, uh, all these libraries uh, should be uh, installed using command prompt. Next. So that's it. See that your auto robot is connected to, uh, to your computer using the mini serial port, uh, serial USB uh, connection connector that has been provided with your kit and once you have connected uh, you will be see a light glowing on your uh, Arduino Nano board uh, that is the expansion board so after that let's start coding okay. 
and uh, this is our AI code that is done using Python. We are using Visual Studio Code Editor for uh, writing this code. And after successful installation of all the uh, necessary libraries uh, of our project using command prompt, we are coming back to this Visual Studio Code Editor and we are going to import all the libraries, that is the install libraries one by one. So we start with importing the speech recognition and then time and creating an object for recognizer object of speech recognition. And then we are importing the random and we are importing text to speech and then we are creating an object for text to speech. Here I am going to create some lists and I am going to uh, list some uh, corresponding utterances related to that uh, words of the list. For example, high words will consist of different utterances that are related to high words like hi, hello, hi bro, hello bro. Like that we are creating different lists in Python. And then we start with uh, importing serial port. So we are going to create an object here inside which we are specifying which in which port we are communicating with Arduino Nano and in which baud rate we are communicating with the Arduino Nano. Next. In this, uh, then we are uh, going to set some uh, properties for uh, text to speech. Like here we have a set property in which I am going to set whether it is for 0 for a male voice or 1 for female voice and here we am going to set the rate at which or speed at which uh, the voice of the computer to be heard when it is being played and then I am going to create a object I am going to create a function here in this function uh, I am going to name it as a capture voice input inside which I'm going to use the microphone property of uh, SR uh, that is the uh, speech recognition object and uh, using the microphone of the computer uh, I'm going to record the voice so uh, so we will get an indication like uh, listening we are going to print it on the uh, terminal so why, once you see that listening, you can start speaking and the computer will start recognizing your voice. Next. Uh, finally, after the voice is being recognized, it will, convert, it will convert it into an audio file and it will return it to the function. So I'm going to pass that audio file to that another function called convert voice to text in which I'm going to convert the voice to text using recognize Google function. Next. Um, finally, I'm going to convert the text of my voice. Next, uh, the text is being sent as a sentence to the speak function here. So here if my uh, speech was, uh, if my text of my voice was uh, hello, then first of all I will uh, use this adreno.write uh, in, in which I am going to uh, write the letter X on the serial port so that this command will be sent uh, to the auto robot and ensure that you have connected uh, the mini USB cable between your computer and the auto robot only then it will be reflected to the serial port and also the serial port will be running on the it should be running on the auto robot that is the project should be already running on the uh, auto robot I, I will show you the uh, Arduino uh, code later on and now it is similar to and after that what we what we will do is we will pause for 0.5, 0 0.05 seconds and then I'm going to uh, say like uh, if my voice is hello means the computer will pick a random choice from the high words list and it will combine it with my my name is Otto and I am an AI robot what can I do for you and then we need to use engine.run and wait uh, for the voice to be spoken and then I'm going to use Arduino.write that is I'm going to write a Y on the serial port so that using uh, I'll capture this uh, Y command on my uh, Arduino Nano ID editor uh, using which I'll be able to turn off the LED and turn on the LED 
So this is similar for a goodbye in sentence and then forward words and then the backward words or a moonwalk words. So uh, every time <coughs> when, uh, for example, uh, uh, let me say that uh, I'm going to say uh, do a moonwalk. So if my sentence is uh, in the moonwalk, so uh, the computer will first send an X. It will write an X to the serial port and then uh, during which I will turn on my LED and then the computer will say showing moonwalk and then <coughs> it will run and wait and then uh, I'm going to write M. It means that uh, according to the computer, uh, according to the auto robot, uh, the C coding uh, will be looking for uh, the letter M. If it looks for a letter M, it will uh, make the robot move forward. It will uh, perform the command for moving, moving, doing a moonwalk. And finally, uh, after the moonwalk is being done, I will be uh, turning off the LED using see uh, adreno dot serial write one and if the command is not being understood i'll be uh, making the computer to say i didn't understand the command please try again and that's it uh, the code is very easy to understand and finally we have the main uh, function where the com when our program starts so here we have three uh, functions one is uh, capturing voice input and we are returning the uh, audio file of our uh, speech and uh, we are passing that audio file to uh, voice to text uh, using uh, speech recognition and then we are going to use text to speak in the speak of using which our text is converted to speech and the speech is being played on the computer. Hello, and uh, let's finally see the code for our Adreno Nano. Uh, the code is done using C program. And uh, as we know that uh, the Adreno Auto uh, is controlled using the controller called Adreno Nano. And this uh, Nano is being connected to uh, the expansion module using which all the four servo motors are being connected. So uh, as we have connected two servo motors to the right leg and two servo motors to the left leg. So we are going to uh, first, in order to uh, give the commands, in order to make it work, we need to first uh, import the uh, servo library. To do, to add a library to our project, we need to click the tools and click the manage libraries. Here in the top filter your search option, we need to search for servo. So once we do that, we will be getting servo library and here uh, as I've already installed I don't have that option of install for you you'll be getting an uh, install option you need to click that it will take one or uh, two minutes to install and after that you can start using that library to your project to include your uh, uh, imported library uh, you need to uh, import using servo.h using ash include servo.h then I'm going to uh, create a variable called incoming byte uh, with a type int and then I'm going to create so four servo objects with the name left leg, right leg, left toe and right toe and I'm going to set the initial conditions inside the setup um, function. Here I'm going to begin the serial port using a baud rate 9600. 9600 means that the Adreno will start sending the uh, information to the computer and then uh, I'm going to set the pin mode 11 as output and uh, the pin mode level is for 11 is for the LED light on the uh, auto robot then I'm going to set the initial condition as the off I mean the LED light to be off so using the digital right uh, of 11th pin that is the LED pin I'm going to set it to low and then I'm going to uh, make a, a calibrate uh, function so calibrate is nothing but we are going to set the initial condition for the robot for all the servo motors 
and then I'm going to give a delay. So let's start with the calibrate function. Here is our calibrate function that we have defined. So uh, the servo object, uh, the four servo objects that is left leg, right leg are connected to 2, 3, 4 and 5 and I'm going to set it to 90 degrees that is to initial condition. So this is what we do in the calibration. Okay, then uh, then I am going to create uh, another function called walk forward and walk backward. So walk forward has uh, four different, uh, yeah, walk forward has a uh, function in which I am going to define uh, the different movements according to the uh, forward, uh, forward movement of the robot. Likewise, I am doing it for the backward also. So I am calling it four times for walk forward and walk forward and for moonwalking I am doing the same I am going to create a moonwalking style uh, according to the action with the servo motors and I am going to call it four times so this is for LED on this is for LED off function so this is the code for move left move left leg forward similarly for uh, move left leg backward and for uh, right leg forward and right leg backward. So after creating all the uh, all the required movements, now it is time to uh, check the commands from our Python code that is the AI part. So uh, once as we know that in our previous uh, section we saw that we are sending some commands from the Python code like uh, F for forward, B for backward, M for moonwalking, X for turning on the LED and Y for turning off the LED and this is where we captured the uh, commands that is the letters so uh, it is being captured using the serial monitor so uh, using the incoming byte variable I am going to read and store that uh, store I am going to read the values that is the incoming command from the python code and I am going to store it in the incoming byte variable and I am going to check continuously whether it uh, refers to f, b, m, x or y and according to that I will be calling the corresponding function and this is how uh, we make use of uh, the uh, C program for Arduino uh, uh, Nano for Auto and finally let's uh, see the working of the Auto robot. So let us see the working of our project. Here on the Visual Studio code, I am going to right click and click run, run Python and run Python file on terminal. So as you see in the bottom, hello. Hi, brother. My name is Otto and I am AI robot. What can I do for you? Go forward. Moving forward. I didn't understand that command. Please try again. Go backward. Moving backward. 